Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel, Dinomania. So here we are at Lavanock Beach. A mixture of Jurassic and Triassic rocks can be seen at Lavanock. Fossils to be found here include bones or teeth from marine reptiles, particularly ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs. You also find lots of ammonites and large gastropods and brachiopods. In June 2015, two brothers found an amazing discovery here on the beach. It was a dinosaur. This dinosaur is known as Draco Raptor. And the Draco Raptor translates into Dragon Thief. It was discovered at Lavanock Point and believed to be the earliest known Jurassic dinosaur. The skeleton was around about the size of a small dog. The remains were donated to Cardiff Museum and you can actually go and take a look at this amazing fossil collection. So make sure you go over and take a look. It's absolutely amazing. Here we are on the Triassic um, beach. We're not in the Triassic period, obviously, because that means we would have gone back in time. But lots of the um, fossils and things you find on this beach uh, here in Lavanock is sort of dated Triassic uh, period. So early time of the dinosaurs. Triassic dinosaurs included Coelophysis, Herrerasaurus, and they tended to be a lot smaller too. So if you are looking for dinosaurs, they're going to be small. But not just dinosaurs, let's look for marine reptiles and ammonites and are, are ammonites crustaceans? No. Crustaceans. Yeah. I don't know, they are, and they've yeah, got a shell. They've got shells, yeah. So yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna go out over there because it's a bit more sea to be Check it out. See the ammonite? Trace by the looks of it, but still. So cool. It's a good find. A very good find. Another one where we pass by, okay, so passing by the rock. Two perfect, uh, or three. As I pass, I actually see another one. One, two, three. Ranger Andy is on fire today, finding lots of cool things. Um, when you're looking for fossils, guys, you're looking for, and if something looks a little bit um, of a shape, for instance, you see that round mark there? No, that's not natural, okay? So that there is definitely something. But um, this one, you can't, you can't deny what that one is. You see it? Half an ammonite. So um, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, and there's so many of them. So, for instance, let me just do a test here. We're going to uh, drive. Not going to drive. We're going to um, pull the camera past and see if we see anything. If anyone spots anything. Now, during that pass, I spotted two things. So there's one. And the other one was over here find something obviously do a little bit of investigation you can use things like youtube you can use our channel um in fact you can use any source um, on the internet but just keep searching guys we're going to keep going we found about three or four things so far number one always turn things over always turn things over you see a rock turn like that over. that's it you like that <laughs> no yeah it's good point never just look at the surface because um you never know what's underneath that guys let's spin that rock around now just for instance now there's definitely some unusual patterns, but I don't think there's anything on that one. Something strange on that one. Something strange in the neighbourhood. But yeah, he's right. Another top tip, which we learned um, in the Isle of Wight, was if you see sort of a, a, a symmetrical sort of crack through a rock, it means that water's got in there somehow, uh, maybe frozen over time and cracked the rock. Um, but if something's got in there, it means there's could be a fossil inside that rock. Not all the time, but sometimes. Keep looking. Right, there's an exposed um, piece there. So there's next to my foot, so it's a big piece. But let's zoom in. And an absolutely perfect ammonite again. start over here um, can you see that one there we've got one we move over to number two three four one three four there's a great one there five 
another one just there, six. In fact, there's loads. Guys, I mean, there's just too many for you to, um, obviously these are in the slab, there's no way of taking these home, um, but let me just zoom out. In this slab here, hundreds of ammonites. Absolutely awesome. Randy just passed this up to me, look at this. This is actually one out of the rock. Um, I think they're called devil's toenails because obviously somebody who's seen the devil, I just dropped that one. Someone who's seen the devil and their toenails has obviously, um, <laughs> but this is it. Um, they're cool fossils, loads of them. So um, again, it does look like a hoof, if anything. And devils would have had hoofs, wouldn't they? Yeah. So that's why. Very cool. Well done, Ranger Andy. Right, guys, I just found the ultimate um, fossil. Hang on. It's a brick. I'll check him out. Can you see him? It's a wood louse, isn't it? Big one. But here, great fossil. It's called a bran brick from Newport. In fact, I know we laugh and joke, but this could well be something they built during the war. A brick they used. So it's a it's not a fossil, but it's still a cool find. Find number 466. Edge of an ammonite. We yet to find an ammonite, as in a full one. A full one. We keep looking, but um, you can see the detail. You can see the. Um, I'll put some videos and pictures up of what an animites actually look like uh, when they were alive. Animite Central. Inside the rock face, another one. You can actually see the difference in color. And that's what you're looking for when you're looking for um, fossils. Obviously you're looking for shapes, but difference in color is important. Do what we like to see sometimes when you're on the beach. Obviously, I see a lot of people obviously doing the same sort of thing. Lovely day out, but you've got people litter picking, which I think is really good. So if you are on the beach, you see litter, take it home with you guys. You may not have uh, put it there, but if we all do our bit to clean up, Now, see, this is the beauty of this. We have no clue what that is. But in our imaginations, now we're thinking fossilized leaf. It's gotta be a leaf. Or it could be feathers. Feathers. Oh, feathers. Imagine that. Feathers. From one of the, the feathered um, Utah raptors that actually swam over by accident from Utah <laughs> to <laughs> South Wales. <laughs> Take that back. So if you like dinosaurs, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and that means you'll get alerts every time we post a new video. If you love dinosaurs, you're in the right place. You won't miss a thing.